Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker Screen Acres. It's uh, Valentine's Day, and it's like 6 o'clock in the evening. So there's my sky. And it was a cold one today, but it's on the way up. It's 14 out now, and it's going to be near 30 tomorrow. So I'm going to break out the Bermuda shorts here tonight. But um, just an update on what's going on here. Of the six sows that I have out, two of them have yet to go. And it's these two over here. Those two girls, they're sleeping where there was a porta hut. And there was a porta hut there because I had to move it up here with this gal. And she just picked a spot on the ground and started having her babies last night. And I, I don't think I have an accurate count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So far, I mean, she's done. But she's, she did well without a hut. And last night it was probably about six below. So more testimony to the uh, durability of these animals. Now, one of the things that I wanted to uh, talk to you about the other day when I did this, that I realized I didn't, was you see these huts, how I have them set out here in the barnyard. Well, there's one up there. One here. All right, um... What you want to do is you want to clock these so they're facing southeast. That way in the morning, when you get first sun, it's going to be on them <clears throat> if you have any sun. And, you know, in this business, every advantage that you can get, you take because you need it. Um, we farrowed four sows out here. It is the worst uh, weather we've had this year for farrowing and <clears throat> cold is a killer. Babies come out, they're wet. And if it's below zero, they turn into a little sickle in no time. And I figure I have about 30 of them on the ground right now out of four sows. And I lost seven. No, I have 25. 25, and I lost seven. I had to bring a whole crowd of them in the house this morning, and uh, she had lost four of hers. And I don't know what, <clears throat> I don't know what her problem was. She just, when, when they don't get settled down for some reason, and they're up moving around quite a bit, it creates problems. And here's this girl right here. She's only got five. She lost three of them. She would have had eight nice ones, too. They were big ones, the ones she lost. That's kind of the way it goes. I don't know why. Anyway, of the six sows that I got going, now we're almost done. Two more to go. And I don't think they're going to be until next week. So, remember last year, this was the exact same field that I farrowed. I think 12 sows on at one time. It came at the worst time. And I had all the huts clocked to the north. Here the the wind hardly ever comes out of the north. It always comes from the south west. And so we clocked the openings of the huts to the southeast. And uh we do that now. But that last year, I had them all clocked north because um, I wasn't really worried in February about the sun. You don't get that much. Um, no more. We're going to clock them all southeast if we can. Some of these aren't, but they're frozen down, so I can't move them. I mean, you absolutely cannot move them without hurting them. So uh, last year, we lost somewhere around 50 of them. And I showed you some of that, and it was just terrible. And I said, no more farrowing in February, but here we are. It happens. These ones 
wound up getting pregnant and there was only six of them so I separated them out. I thought they were going to hit somewhere around the end of February, early March, but hit it right in the middle of February. Hence the reason for keeping good records. Anyway, sometimes we lose, sometimes we win. Today is a winner. 25 nice mangalitsa babies on the ground and I'm expecting at least 15 more from those two other girls. So that's 40 out of this group. I'm happy about that. It's Mark from Baker's Green Acres. Anyone can farm.